Welcome to the show with me, Turk, and me, River, and me, Charmaine. This is our special <laughs> guest, Jeff Charmaine. And I'm so glad to be here with you boys in your beautiful home and your gorgeous kitchen. Yeah, thank you. Which I love pretty kitchens. Yeah, thanks. And we are cooking with colors today, aren't we? Yes. We've got a lot going on here today. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Okay, I will. Why don't you boys turn around so they can see your shirts because this does <laughs> tell people about what I do, super kids, super food, and super immunity. So I'm Yay. all about teaching kids how to eat healthfully and how to start incorporating more raw living foods with plenty of colors, Yay. like these spatulas, and like we're gonna do today, plenty Everything of colors here. in their food. Because we learned this morning that when you eat your colors and when you eat foods that have not been cooked, that still have all that electrical energy, vital force, and all the, all the nutrients and enzymes and minerals, it's so much better for your body. And it helps build your immunity, which is really good. So it helps keep us well and from getting sick. So today, we're gonna make some awesome things here. We're gonna make some sweet things I have on the sweet. recipe today. And today, I want to share with you some unusual seaweeds. We're gonna make some fruit leathers. We're going to make some amazing sauce. But I wanted to show, show everybody that's watch, watching um, this cute little cutting board. It is cute, right? Yes. Yeah, very, it's small. <laughs> very like cute. Very cute. But what do you notice about this river? It's got two different kinds of wood. Okay, that's what you think. It's two different um, kinds of wood, but... I'm going to say it's just going horizontal and vertical. Okay, so the question is, why are there two different colors here? Because uh, One's red. wet and one is not, or one's old, one's young. Well, that's pretty <laughs> good. You're getting hot, you're getting okay. hot. Okay. Your turn, river. One's Full of electricity, one's not. <laughs> Boy, you guys are really hot. Okay. Well, as it goes, one is heat treated and one isn't heat treated. Oh, so oh, I just yeah. wanted you guys to understand and get the visual in your head that when you heat a plant, it changes it. It destroys many of the nutrients, enzymes, and proteins in there. And it takes away that electrical energy. So this shows us that eating our foods raw and living is really good for you because it preserves the natural enzymes and nutrients and vital force in the plant because they can see with certain photography halos of light around the plant cells That's cool. and when we eat these raw and living plants we assimilate that energy cool do you want to have lots of energy yes. yeah okay energy. well Definitely. let's get cooking Okay, boys, so what we're going to do with this Irish moss is we're going to make a thick paste to give our pie some body, some um, consistency, fluffiness. fluffiness to our pie. So what I want you boys to do is we're going to put the Irish moss in the blender. It looks so cool. It mm -hmm. feels cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Irish moss is a good source of minerals too. Because imagine it's from the ocean. This oh. sea vegetable has lots of healthy minerals in it mm -hmm. that our water. body needs. Yes, yeah, we're gonna put in some water. We're just gonna put a little bit in there to make a thick paste. We don't want too much in there. So let's start off with that. Okay. Okay. So um, there you go. You guys know what to do. Put the lid on there, and we're gonna make a nice thick paste. Oops, you got it. Okay. Awesome. There we go. Now we've got some Thanks. paste going on. Yay. All right, so I'm gonna come back over here and what we'll do is have one of you put it in the uh, bowl. This is excellent. This is what it's uh, supposed to look like. It it looks like okay, paste. that is perfect. Let's, Taryn, go ahead and put this in the bowl as okay. much as you can. And um, we're gonna just go ahead and move this out of the it way. It smells like the ocean. <clears throat> It does smell like the ocean. Probably because it's, it's amazing seaweed. stuff. It probably is because seaweed. yeah, probably it's just from the ocean. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the crust of the pie first. And in the crust are these macadamia nuts, and these are so yummy. Macadamias yummy. are a soft nut. Yeah. Um, so they're gonna be really nice for the crust. We also have some shredded coconut. So you can see. Kay. And we also have some dates. dates. Yay. Yay! This is gonna give it some softness. It's gonna help things stick together. Kay. And yeah. it's gonna give it a sweet. And then we're gonna put a little bit of our salt in here. Okay. And you boys tell me about this coarse salt you've got here. Well, uh, basically sea salt. And okay. sea salt is basically the mineral salt from the sea. 
Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So we've got some yeah. sea salt. So I use Himalayan salt at home, which is pink. Yeah. Yeah. So salts are different colors. So they're saying this is a sea salt, like a Celtic salt. That would be gray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it has like 91 minerals in it, um, one of which is magnesium, which helps to lower your blood pressure. Yeah. I use a pink salt. Mm -hmm. So yeah. This is lava black. salt. Lava salt. So salt can be different colors, different flavors. It's black. And you really need to know your salt, honestly, because if it's too coarse, or too fine, you need to adjust it accordingly. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here, my dates are a little bit hard. I didn't wanna soak them because I don't want the crust yeah. soggy. Yeah. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this food processor with the S-Blade, we have the S-Blade CDS, um, we're gonna see if this S-Blade will kind of break up these uh, dates. Okay. So you wanna go ahead and put these dates in there and we're going to go ahead and turn that on and process that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our macadamia nuts. Sounds good. Uh, River, you wanna go ahead or one of you two? Okay. So add the macadamias and then we have our coconut. Coconut, check. And I want one of you to just Sorry. put in a pinch of salt. Pinch. Okay, now when we process this again, we wanna make sure we don't turn it into a butter. Yeah. We want okay. a little bit of texture to it, so we're gonna Probably pulse it would be a good idea. All right, we can kind of see it kind of sticking together a bit. Yep. Yeah, look at that. See how it's sticking? Mm -hmm. yep. Now, I like my crust where it's yeah. dry. I don't like my Me crust too, real so. soggy. But this is pretty good. Okay. And it smells delicious. Smell that. It smells good. Ooh, yum. Yummy. Yeah, what do you think there? It smells good. good. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put it in our spring warm pan. And boys, I'm going to need you to use your little fingers to get it pressed down in there. I'm going to wash my little fingers because I just use my little fingers. Now what I have here is an offset spatula. See that spatula with a little Whoa. bit of knuckle room in there? We can use it to like press down and sometimes that helps, you know. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could take it up along the sides a little bit, but we yeah. don't have to. We can just kind of have it on the bottom, but that's going to be a nice crust. Do you want to help River to press that sure. down? Get it nice and firm on the bottom. Pack it in there. Awesome job, boys. All right, boys, we are ready to make the filling to this amazing pie. Yay. And I have a bunch of stuff here. Let me just talk about each one first. We have turmeric. Yay. You guys know what that's for, right? And yeah. inflammatory. It's anti-inflammatory. Anti Thank you, And River. it can dye stuff. Yes, it can dye stuff. In fact, it's adding some color to this recipe. Then we have? Uh, lemon zest. Lemon zest. Lemon zest. Lemon zest is amazing, right? It tastes like a lemon. And Very you strong. know what? There's something about citrus peel that's really good for you. Huh. It really helps your energy. It oh. helps your metabolism. Oh, cool. So it really gives you a lift. Cool. So we also have some coconut milk here. A full bowl of that is milk. a full bowl, bowl <laughs> thing. To one of you put it in there and filled it up really well. We have some coconut oil. Okay. Now this is a saturated fat, right? So it gets hard at yes. room temperature. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it is a medium chain saturated fat. So this has health benefits. They say it's really good for your memory, for your brain. Huh. So eating healthy fats is good in moderation. So we also have some lemon juice. Yep. yep. This is amazing. You know what I do with lemon juice in the morning? Drink it. Drink it. That's right. Do you oh, guys do oh, that? No. Like put it in water quarter, sometimes. Quarter water, it. warm water in the morning really gives you a good beginning of the day cleanse, so think about that. So lemon juice, very alkalinizing. Then we have our Irish moss, we already talked about that. It is a sea vegetable, but guess what we also have? Agar, our agar, 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 agar. Gelatin flakes. Right, this is a Yum. sea vegetable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a sea vegetable. And this has benefits in it, like minerals for our body. Cool. We talked about it, we're made from the dust of the earth, so we wanna put the minerals back. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our agar agar, we need to put it in hot water. Okay. And what it does is it dissolves. So I need one of you boys to heat up that water on the stove. Heating up. And then River, I want you to put a teaspoon of agar into the water and give it a stir, okay? Here is your rainbow spoon, give that a stir rainbow on the spoon. stove. Okay, boys, it looks like we're ready to go with our cashews and our agar water. Nice. And what I'd like you guys to do is just to blend this smooth as you can. Oh. 
we're gonna get these cashew smooth. Now make sure when you start that blender that you have it all the way down on low before you take it up, okay? Smooth, good job. Let's Yay. add the lemon juice next. Lemon juice is going in. And River, we're going to add just a pinch of the turmeric. Okay, okay. River, you want to do that for me? Yeah, I'll do a pinch. Okay. And while he's doing that, Taryn, why don't you go ahead and add the coconut oil? Okay. And we'll use a spatula. Get all out. There you go. Ooh, look, it started. Yeah, it started to harden up. Because as I said, it's a saturated fat, so it's a little cold in here, so it's already getting hard. But that's okay, we'll it's, just use what's there. It's, it's still working. 69 in here. Yeah, that's a little, it's a little warm, cool. It's like so then I'm going to add some of our coconut milk. We don't want to use all of this. We've got way too much in here, but that's okay. It'll be coconutty. I know what we're gonna use all of that because I'm looking at that spring form pan you guys got here. It's, and it's a, a rather one. large one. It is a rather and then large one. Should I add agave? Yes, let's go ahead and add the agave. Wow, that's Good a job. Mm -hmm. What did I ask? So cool. And then we're going to add our lemon zest. Is it like you do salt? That's mm -hmm. cool. that how you do salt. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> And how would you like to do the honors of putting in the Irish moss? moss? We're going to do one quarter cup plus two tablespoons. Got it. Okay. okay. So you'll want to make that even mm -hmm. on the top. Yeah. So, whoa, okay. You got it. <laughs> Why don't we move this out of the way? And you boys can set that down here and okay. do it better than that. Here, maybe I can. Yeah, I got this. You got that. Yeah, you do, River. Awesome. What do you think of that Irish moss? It looks super, super, cool. super it smells really cool, I like it. There we go. <laughs> so this is how we can use seaweed. And there's lots of seaweed in the world. There's lots, lots of seaweed. seaweed, plenty of that. And you know what? That whole sea smell, you're not even gonna taste that at all in That's this. Weird. Yep. It's not gonna taste like a seaweed pie. There we go. One more, one more. Okay, great no, job. I've never made a seaweed pie. Yeah. Probably. I want some of these in Awesome, okay. John. I think we've got a little more of that in there, and I like to get all the goodies out of there. All the good stuff. Okay, let's make sure we take it all the way down. It's all the way down. Okay. Take it down to one. It's on one. I'm not it's on one. making this part. Whoa. Uh, so now we are basically going to pour it into the pie thing. Mm -hmm. You want to take let's out take the... this top off really quick. Yep. So where did I got it? Here, I got it. Sure. Okay. All right. Pour it. Whoa, it looks so cool. It does look cool. It's a big vegan pie. Mm-hmm. Your raw pie. You want to get the spatula so you get all the goodies out of there? Yes. Ooh, it's a perfect size. River. Uh, me, spatula. spatula. Here you go. Red one. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Great job. Now we're gonna make a blueberry sauce too, which is gonna look really cool on the top. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. blackberry. blackberry. So that is going to have to chill in the refrigerator. Okay. For until how long? it's firm. Okay. It's gonna take at least four mm. hours to chill up. Really nice. All right, boys, we're gonna make a super neat sauce to go on top of our cheesecake. So we have some beautiful fresh blackberries. Let's show everybody. Yes. So to make this a sauce, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and blend up those blackberries. Yep. Ooh, Pour they them. are fat and juicy. Yes. You know how important it is to eat your berries every day? Whoop! Because you're getting this beautiful color <laughs> that helps you not to age, by the way. Purple Ooh. is good to help you not to age. Cool. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to blend that up. Blend. Thank you.
got it nice and blended there. I'd say maybe a little more. A little bit more. Okay. okay. Very little bit more. You know, you could use a nut milk bag to take those seeds out, but we do have this little strainer here, and I think we're going to go ahead and put that through here bowl. and see if that works to take some of the seeds out. It's working. Yay. Do you want to go ahead and try this, River? Sure. And so just press that spatula into the strainer, the sieve, and what we have left is just the seeds and we're getting the nice juice, which will make a real pretty sauce drizzle to go over the top of that cheesecake. It kind of looks like figs almost this morning. It does look like figs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, not too much. Sorry, sorry. Because it might spill over. <laughs> okay, what I really like about this, guys, is the color. Just look at it. It's so purpley. That purpley. is amazing. That is and you know what purple is good for? Purple helps you not to age. It's also yeah. good for your memory, so it's yes. really nice. But, you know, what we've done here is we're making a sauce. Instead of cooking it, boiling it down with cornstarch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave all the beautiful living enzymes and nutrients and vital force by doing this raw. So okay. I'm gonna have you guys put this in the blender because this is a little runny and yeah. we wanna add some a little bit of sweet to it, but we're also going to do some recipe development here today. And what I mean by that is we're going to try to thicken this up and we're gonna use what we have in the kitchen to thicken this up so this will be a nice sauce or coulis to go on top of that beautiful pie we just made. Cool. So I'm gonna have you, Taryn, put that in yeah. the blender. And why don't you get over here, River, okay. with your brother. Oh, right. See how it's runny that is? Yeah, it's not. Now that's not gonna be good on our pie with its runny. So I don't wanna it's waste good, anything. So how about you use a spatula to get some of that blackberry out of there? We don't wanna lose any of that goodness. We don't want to waste. Okay. okay, great job. Okay, then we're gonna add some of our agave. And if somebody doesn't have agave at home, what could they use? Honey. They could use honey, they sure could. Again, let's or go ahead syrup. and use our spatula, what's that? It's or maple syrup. Or maple syrup, we're using that today too. Awesome, I bet somebody yeah. wants to lick that for it, right? Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Now, this is the fun part. This is where we come in with the recipe development. We are going to use some of our Irish moss, our seaweed, Yay. to thicken this up because it has really a neutral flavor. Just a little hint of the sea, but with that blackberry and that agave, it's gonna mask it and it's really gonna give it a nice thickness that will be nice mm -hmm. as we drizzle it over our cheesecake. <laughs> so, here we go. Taryn, I'm going to have you put in a good scoop of that, and we've got spoons to taste. Just a good scoop? Uh, yeah, we'll try that. Let's just try that and okay. see how that does. It. Recipe development, you just want to put a little bit, try it. If it needs more, we're going to add more. Okay. Now take it all the way down on the lowest setting. Right. Okay, looks like it's going to still be pretty runny, so let's yeah. add a little bit more to that. Let's get a good scoop of that in there. Put it through the hole. What's yep. this? That looks That's pretty good. Okay. good and scoop. this time we're going to let it go ahead and roll and let's see what it does. Okay, take it up a little bit. It's thickening. It is thickening up. Take it off here and just see how thick it is. We know if we put it in the fridge. Oh, we can try some of the stuff on here. I just kind of want to look at it. It is definitely thicker. You see that? Yeah. Okay. I think if we just did another, more. another large scoop. Yeah. If we did an, ooh, that's too large. Let's take another <laughs> half a scoop and let's try that. Okay. Recipe development, we just add a little bit and we keep adding it till we get the consistency we want. Okay. Mm. 
you so much. Okay, we're getting ready to make some fruit leather, and I'm so excited because mm -hmm. we're going to take all this beautiful fruit and we're going to turn it into something kind of sort of like this. We have some different flavors here. This was mango I did. Mm. You guys want to try this? Oh, yeah. Sure. So today we've got some agave and maple syrup. I actually use some stevia. That way it doesn't have any extra sugar in there. So you want to peel off a little piece? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Tell me what you think. That has mm. mango and ginger. Tastes like mm. a mango? Tastes With like some mango? ginger. Mm. I like the ginger. Okay, what about the banana? You want to try the banana? Mm-hmm. Here, Here you go. You want to grab a little piece? Mm-hmm. Mm. Banana looks good, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like the banana better. You like banana? Okay, this is a green one. This is kiwi. Whoa, that looks like a motor wrap. Now, I put some spirulina in here, which, again, is another sea vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take some of this and tell me what you think of the kiwi. Looks harder. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's mm. harder and sweeter. Sweeter? Mm -hmm. Let me try this. Kind of tart almost. Mm -hmm. So they're all different. Mm -hmm. So we have some really neat things here. And um, let's talk about our ingredients that we have. Kiwi. Kiwi. And we've got. Pineapple. Pineapple. We even have some apples. We have ginger. Ginger. We can add that to one of these. We can grate some mm -hmm. ginger in. I'll let you guys do that. And then I have some goji berry powder. Wow. We can put that in with the apple if we wanted to. And then look at the colors we have that we can add to things. This is spirulina powder. Oh, like the red one. That is actually beet powder. I was going to say that. Ooh. So we can add a little bit of the colors to things like the turmeric, we can add in the pineapple, and we have the spirulina, we can make the kiwis even greener. And we also have banana, this mm. would be good as well. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and start putting the fruit in the blender. Which one should we start with? Pineapple. Um, pineapple, okay. So can we do the pineapple? Yeah, let's do pineapple. Oops. Well, we should do like an apple banana. Whatever you want. We can make any combination here, you guys. We could do kiwi, apple, pineapple, and banana. It's getting a little wild there. <laughs> okay, so for the pineapple, would you guys be jazzed if we put some turmeric in there to add yes. a little color? Okay, so we'll let you add just a tad of that. liquid sweetener to this boys a little bit now if you guys at home want to add some stevia or some honey or some agave that works too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. honey just Sorry. go ahead and pour it in the middle yep okay and um, River, a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to use this offset spatula. Okay. And we're just gonna kind of spread it and get it in a shape we want. Okay. Now we're using a tray from a dehydrator. Here you go. And kind of spread it very carefully. Right. So we have a dehydrator tray with the sheet here. And then what we have is a Teflex. This is called a Teflex and this keeps the, um, the fruit leather mixture from going through the screen. We want to protect the screen. So don't take it quite out all the way to the edges because we don't want it running over on the screen. So that looks pretty good. And it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. You can just yeah. make it any shape you want. Right. That looks good. Okay. So what we can do with that is we can take it over to our dehydrator and get that ready to go. Yeah. This one's the pineapple. Because if it's too thin, like right yeah, there, there yeah. it won't. This one might be good actually. Yeah, so you can scrape it, it, honey. Look. You can go like that and just bring oh, it in. Oh, okay. With that. Okay. And I'm thinking a apple ginger with some banana would be good. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit of a deeper red color with this um, stuff. So, yeah. Bee powder. 
So now our uh, fruit strips are dehydrating. And you don't want it higher than 115 because you, if you have it higher than 115, it's more like cooking, cooking, it. It. cooking it. You're not going to really. Yeah. So we have it on 115 right now. in the Eat More Rainbows curriculum, you just get a hold of me, look at the link below, oh, yes. and I'll be happy to share it with you. Bye! And if you want to see more photos, videos, recipes, then you can go to gogreenfoods.com, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or follow Chef Charmaine. Awesome. Thank you. See you, see you next time. So these are all the things that we made with Chef Charmaine. We got our fruit roll-ups. This one we got kiwi. our beautiful vegan cake. This one's like a kiwi. Oh, yeah. This one just kiwi? kiwi. Just kiwi. kiwi. And some maple syrup, I guess. Some sweetener. And then we've got this apple banana one. And ginger. And ginger. Apple banana and ginger. Uh, blueberry. Oh, it's blackberry. Oh, no, blackberry. Blackberry. Pineapple. Pineapple. Which is my personal favorite. These were my personal favorite. Yeah. And, and our beautiful cake that we already took a slice out of. Mm -hmm. And we're about to try it. And, and this is actually coconut whipped cream, so so it's still only fruit. And let's cut it out. I'm gonna take a big bite like this. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna like whoopsie. <laughs> uh, and remember the crust is mac and can't do that. Okay, you are making a mess of this. Is that how you eat cake? Yeah, you eat it like this. Dent it. <laughs> Mm. Quite delicious. Okay, I think the crust is macadamia nuts, dates, uh, some sweetener, and some other stuff I'm forgetting. I have to go back and watch our podcast. And uh, this is just some black sauce. It's macadamia sauce. nuts, agave, dates. Why is that? It's legit. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's actually a pretty simple crust. That's exactly what. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And mm, if you guys want to get no, some no, more no, of these no. awesome recipes and stuff, you can go to gogreenfields.com. You can get more photos, videos, recipes, podcasts, and check out our Instagram and Facebook. So, mustache. as Taryn eats more of this cake, mustache. <laughs> we're signing off. <laughs> <laughs> so the cake is really good. It's got a real, uh, it's got almost like a hint of mint, even though I didn't put any, we didn't put any mint in it. And the blueberry on the top is really good. <laughs> Taryn <laughs> agrees. I'm assuming. Yes, I agree. I got some cream on my chin. And yeah, so all in all, it's a really good cake for not being having to cook it. And mm -hmm. yeah, now we get to try our fruit roll ups. Yay! Let's try this pineapple one. Try kiwi. Mmm, wow, pineapple has a lot of flavor. Do you put ginger in the pineapple? Nope. Well, it's got very pineapple flavor. Why did that make you think there was ginger in it? I don't know. So. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, the kiwi is really good. I like the seeds. Oh, oh the kiwi. Mm -hmm. kiwi just like. Hmm. Or I could unroll it like this, like a scroll, or you could just like take a bite out of it like this. Um, that works too. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> this episode was brought to you by Thrive Market and these other wonderful sponsors: Magic Spoon, Fresh Pressed Olive Oil, Wake Up Foods, and Desert Farms.